what I'm about to talk to you about and express is not my opinion. It's not even my viewpoint, even though I may use that term occasionally, even on a regular basis. But this is a very serious subject. And the subject is the future of black female children, especially in this particular video. My focus is on black girls under the age of 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and maybe even 10 years old. And the impression that their black mothers are making on them and have made on their precious daughters. Innocent, precious black girls, teenagers, who are exposed to things that are all around us in the media, on television, on cable, on the internet, on YouTube, it is poisoning their minds. And the end result is going to be a destroyed little girl, teenager, young woman, middle-aged woman, and even older woman. A mother's job is to nurture her children. Even though what I'm saying to you applies to all mothers, it is my point to try to make this directed specifically in this particular video, even though it applies to all mothers, specifically to black women today, how you are raising your young daughters. The things that you say and the things that you do affect your child and it's going to have a lasting effect on your child and your child's development as they grow up. Oftentimes it's not what your children hear you say it's what they see you do in your behavior. Black women stop raising your daughters to be hoes and thoughts. I said it. And I'm serious as serious can be. I love women. Any sane man, any man that is a normal heterosexual loves women. That's the nature of things. We were designed to be attracted to women. But there comes a time when my friends, we have to draw a line and say some things are too much. Some things are going too far and have gone too far as it relates to our women. Black mothers, when you let your daughters be raised by videos that show black women in a negative light as it relates to sexuality, and you don't monitor, and you don't correct, and you don't interject the right things the right ethics, the right morals to that child, that child is going to end up as a whore, sleeping around, going out to experiment with men older and younger, being misused and abused by men. 
and ultimately ending up in the system pregnant single parent abusing alcohol and drugs with no future it's the truth what I'm saying again to you is not my opinion I have lived this I have observed this in other people family and friends and even others it is a reality of the day moms when you walk around and you dress excuse my expression like a slut what do you think your daughter's going to dress like what's a slut brother teacher when you walk around wearing booty shorts jeans with no waistband low riders low cut jeans and your crack of your behind is exposed your daughter's watching when you walk around with your breast almost fully exposed where you can see your nipple because you're wearing shirts with no bra wife beaters they call them with no bra what's your daughter doing she's watching you're her mom she's looking up to you you are being some form of influence or example to her but you're being a negative example you ever heard the expression sex sells that is the truth oldest profession in the world is prostitution but let me tell you something prostitution is not just standing on the corner soliciting sex prostitution is not just simply being a call girl or woman prostitution is not simply just an escort service whether you want to admit it or accept it or not prostitution is when you're looking for something in the form of money favors or material gain in exchange for sex with you are not women doing that today I said women in general are not black women doing that today looking for the man who has money looking for the man who has the nice car looking for the man who has his own home looking for the man who has his own business and you'll sleep with him for that reason for status oftentimes status or for that instant gratification a few dollars if he does you a favor pays your cell phone bill or otherwise if your daughter sees this behavior in you she's going to be the carbon copy of you and believe it or not she's already began modeling herself after you what standards have you what principles have you I don't care if your mom was like that your aunts were like that or if your grandmother was like that why does it have to be you mothers why do you have to pass this terrible legacy down to your daughters? Why? You need to get it together. You need to stop sleeping with so many men coming in and out of your house. You need to stop hanging out in clubs and bars, drinking all of the time, living the nightlife, the weekend, looking forward to that every weekend if you're a single parent. And some of you who are playing the the field so to speak some of you who are the side chick who have a man at home who have a husband at home and you disappear in the wee hours of the night in the early morning going to see other men do you think your daughters are not paying attention to you do you think you are not grooming them to be something that's going to destroy them later let me tell you something the most impressionable years the most formative years of a child and we're talking about black girls and teenagers is from five years old up until about seven or eight they start paying attention to you really strongly and their personality is developed during those years up until about 10 sometimes but their personality and their likes and dislikes and how they are as a person has been formed. If they see you dropping it like it's hot, going through all sexual types of gyrations in the house, 
listening to uh, music in the home where the title is indicative of somebody going to bed when the lyrics are about having sex and how big the man's penis is and what he can do and how you like how it feels and how you're gonna make yourself wet when you see him and how big his bankroll is or how many stacks he has and you're gonna give it up or you're gonna give it to him when they hear these things ladies they are going to follow what they see you do you can tell them all of the good things about life and how to be a good person and be honest and to respect others but they're going to see ultimately what you do and how you live your life and this is the pattern that they're going to follow and when they hear your conversations on the phone with men talking about sex and so forth they are paying attention and sometimes if you allow them to go into your phone they read your text to men when you're having those sexual conversations through text or the pillow talk something like to call it they're watching that and when you don't monitor what they watch on YouTube and on the internet and you give them just full reign or freedom on the internet what do you think they're doing when you're not around when you're so busy with your life, which is really not a busy life in the first place, you make it seem as though it's busy because you're not raising your child as you should. And that's where the busy part should come in. You're ignoring your child's development. And you're allowing the internet, the rap videos, to raise your children, your female children. This might be harsh. I'm sorry. Get over it. This is sensitive to me, very sensitive to me because I've gone through it. And just because I've gone through it, don't assume that I'm the only person that's only speaking from my perspective because I've gone through it. Hundreds of thousands and millions of people have gone through the same thing. So, ladies, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop flashing, excuse my expression, your ass? You're going to stop doing it? And be an example to your child once and for all. You're going to sit down and have a conversation about life. And how life really should be. And stop watching BET specials. With women on stage. Cardi B. And this other girl. Uh, Nicki Minaj. And Megan Thee Stallion. Dropping it. Talking about. Their coochie talking about if a man has money he can get some of that and then you see your daughters mimicking these same videos and the lyrics they're memorizing this stuff for what is it benefiting them ladies there has to come a time when you have to make the grown-up decision what's the purpose of me allowing my child to listen to this and why am i listening to it and what am i getting from what i'm listening to and watching have you asked yourself that question you can't walk around for virtually all of your life or most of your life with blinders on i only see this you need to step out the box because you're going to be sad one day you're going to be devastated one day when your child becomes a statistic. And at that time, it's too late to go and run and get a bottle and hide behind the beer, the Bud Light, or to hide behind the Moscato or the Jack Daniels. It's going to be too late to go get your weed and try to escape the reality of the day. It's going to be too late to get your Hennessy black. It's going to be too late to get your vodka. And go try to drown yourself in your pity. Your sadness. Your disappointment. Your frustration. Your anger even. 
all over a situation that you had control over since day one. So when did you stop being a mother? Listen to me very carefully. Any woman can lay down and have sex with a man and become pregnant and give birth to a child. But it takes a hell of a woman to be a mother, a real mother. Because a real mother teaches her children, especially her daughters, about value and how to respect herself and not prostitute herself. Stop letting the rappers, female rappers especially, raise your children. Stop letting television and the internet and R&B and Beyonce, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion and all of the rest of them, stop allowing them to be raised by those individuals. Because these people only care about the money that they make. Your daughter will never be friends with them. She'll never know them. All she's doing is mimicking something that appeals to her. But she got that from you because you never guided her in the proper path. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. If you don't like what I'm saying, turn me off. You don't even have to comment. But it's true. Just because you don't like what I'm saying does not mean that it's not true. Because the truth hurts and you can't stand the truth. Because it makes you show up as an unfit mother. It brings accountability upon you. Makes you have to be accountable. Makes you have to be a responsible individual. A loving individual. If you really love your children. If you really love your daughters, black women, and now all women that are listening to me right now, if you really love your daughters, be a mom, be a parent, and stop trying to be their friend. Teach them the right way. And stop being afraid to stand firmly on the ground and look them dead in the eyes and say, don't do that. Don't ever let me see you do that. Don't ever let me see you wear your clothes so scantily clad on your body and exposing yourself. Don't ever let me hear you saying certain types of language that are indicative of some woman who's a slut or a whore or a thot. Don't, don't ever let me see you do that. This is not what a lady is about. This is not what a woman is about. So if this conversation that I'm having right now is too hard for you, I'm sorry because you haven't been hard enough on yourself. And if you're not hard enough on yourself, you definitely can't be hard on your child. The problem that you've had in time past is you've been trying to be your child's friend instead of her mother. This is brother teacher. Raise your children the right way. And at the end of the day, they will really love you for it. I'm out.